victory for our way of life, my pride, my admiration, and a kick-ass vacation. Now get on board. Excitement always seems to happen at 10,000 feet. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 greatest airplane movies. For this list, we've picked the most action-packed, cloud-soaring movie trips. Now, make sure your seatbelts are securely fastened and enjoy the flight. No, no, I don't think, I, I don't have to do that. Yes, you do, if you want your dad to live. Number 10, Executive Decision. I hope there's a good movie on this flight. Kidnappings, hijackings, and the Chechen Mafia, this film has it all. After terrorists take over a 747 bound for Washington, D.C., a U.S. intelligence consultant must find a way to stop the plane from landing on American soil. The experts devise a plan to board the hijacker's plane mid-air, essentially hijacking the hijackers. Colonel, I know you wrote the book on assaulting hijacked aircraft, but this is five miles above the Earth. To top it off, the team has to detonate a bomb once on board. We got a chance to shut this thing down, take over the plane, we just landed someplace safe. All right. Who gets to play with the bomb? Talk about a stressful situation. Number nine. Air America. Well, then I guess as old Rob says, we're not here. Which means you're not actually seeing the second biggest city in Laos. A buddy comedy with a message is the perfect way to describe this pick. Mel Gibson and Robert Downey Jr. play two pilots flying planes for the mysterious Air America company in Laos during the Vietnam War. Pilot hijinks? Yeah. This is psychotic behavior, man. Uh... Well. Here at Air America, what's considered psychotic behavior anywhere else is just company policy. Gene Ryak. Hi. But the two men find out their planes are being used to smuggle heroin. Our government's running a war with drug money. And over there across the border in Vietnam, our GRs are getting strung out on this stuff. To avoid being framed, they must find a way to thwart the men behind the scheme. Plane crashes and heroic rescues bring the action. There'll be another new war opening soon at a theater near you. You can bank on it. I promise. Right on. I you promise. Got I heard that. Number eight, United 93. United 93, uh, Cleveland Center. Go ahead. You know how it ends, but you can't help but be enthralled by the plight of the United 93 passengers. This was the first big screen attempt to recreate the events of September 11th, 2001. And it strives for such realism, it feels like a fly on the wall documentary. Yes, sir. Uh, CNN's reporting a light civil aircraft has just hit the World Trade Center. MCC, MCC, CNN has just reported a light aircraft has hit the World Trade Great Center. Thing. Detailing the passengers' uprising against some 9-11 terrorists, United 93 somehow manages to avoid politics and is instead a suspenseful thriller. But it's still difficult to watch. Number seven, Hell's Angels. Look at him on his Ryan, Ryan. Falling. Considered by critics as one of the first blockbuster action films with sound, this movie's production was wrought with complications, which included multiple pilot deaths, budget issues, and a lawsuit. But despite this, producer Howard Hughes created a masterpiece that tells the story of two brothers, both combat pilots in World War I, who are in love with the same girl. Has he been properly charming? Me? More than charming. Good for you, Marty. However, the film's most iconic scene occurs when the German Zeppelin bombs London. Perfect. Just direct off the Falga Square. Fight all, dear friend. Six bombing, six bombing, six bombing. Number six, Con Air. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. I have the only gun on board. Welcome to Con Air. Any movie set on a prison airplane is a good one in our book. After Cameron Poe is sent to federal prison on charges of manslaughter, he boards the jailbird as a way to get home to his family. Given the opportunity to escape, the plane's passengers, some of whom are very dangerous criminals, take the plane hostage, making for a thrilling action flick. Yeah! Holy shit! Hold on, Bobby! 
And let's not forget Nicolas Cage's hair and accent. Too good. I said, put the bunny back in the box. Number five, up in the air. To know me is to fly with me. This is where I live. With George Clooney at the helm, this is a film about a corporate firer whose jet set lifestyle keeps him in flight for most of his time. And he's got the frequent flyer miles to prove it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a special announcement to make. Our pilot has just informed me that we are passing over the city of Dubuque, which might not mean much to most of you, but means a lot to one of our flyers today. Oh, no. Because he just hit 10 million miles! <laughs> Though flight in this film is used more as a symbol of Ryan Bingham's loneliness and lack of relationships, it's obvious that he's more at home in an airport than on his own couch. All the things you probably hate about traveling, the recycled air, the artificial lighting, the digital juice dispensers, the cheap sushi, are warm reminders that I'm home. Number four, Air Force One. The president's plane, Air Force One, has been hijacked. After the president's airplane is hijacked by Russian terrorists, the president must decide whether to negotiate or risk his family's lives. His wife, his daughter. A man could not live with himself. I think you'll negotiate. Hailed as one of the best action films of the 90s, Harrison Ford makes a badass U.S. president as he fights his kidnappers on the plane. Get off my plane. <laughs> the nonstop action earned the movie two Oscar nods and two thumbs up from Bill Clinton, the sitting president at the film's release. With all due respect, sir, next time you want to make a major policy departure, you might want to discuss it with your national security advisor first. Number three. The Aviator. I, I don't know if you remember me. My name's Howard Hughes. I was wondering if I could have a moment of your time. Howard Hughes' name is synonymous with airplanes, so it's no surprise this biopic starring Leonardo DiCaprio did well at the box office and won five Academy Awards. The film tells the story of Hughes' many business ventures, his obsession with planes, and his struggles with obsessive compulsive disorder. Will you marry me? You're too crazy for me. Director Martin Scorsese outdid himself with the film's replicas of Howard's planes, but the Spruce Goose, his flying boat, was by far the best. He right, has boy. no idea what the plane can do. Uh, none of that now, none of that. Number two, airplane. This is one of my favorites. Being a passenger on a plane can be a crazy experience, but real life isn't nearly as zany as this flick. Hijinks ensue when the passengers and crew contract a virus from a parasitic worm. From there, the poison goes to work on the central nervous system, causing severe muscle spasms, followed by the inevitable drooling. At this point, the entire digestive system collapses, accompanied by uncontrollable flatulence, until finally the poor bastard is reduced to a quivering, wasted piece of jelly. With no one left to fly the plane, it's up to an ex-fighter pilot with a paralyzing fear of flying to get them home safely. Can you fly this plane and land it? Surely you can't be serious. I am serious, and don't call me Shirley. Hailed as one of the best comedies ever, this movie is full of laughs. Sound your alarm bell, now! All right, now, everybody, get in crash position. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. You tell the flight attendant and your dad dies. They just fell on us. They got my number two and the CO. Number one, Top Gun. I can't shoot this son of a bitch. Let's see if we can have a little fun with him. Is this your idea of fun, man? Greetings. <laughs> Watch the birdie. Was there really another choice? The movie stars Tom Cruise at his best as Pete Maverick Mitchell, a cocky young pilot training at the Navy's Fighter Weapons School, which is also known as Top Gun. I don't like you because you're dangerous. That's right. Nice, man. I am dangerous. There, he breaks all the rules and even falls in love. But I held something back. 
I see some real genius in your flying, Maverick, but I can't say that in there. I was afraid that everyone in that tax trailer would see right through me. And I just don't want anyone to know that I've fallen for you. It's a quintessential 80s flick with the soundtrack, campy dialogue, and beach volleyball scenes to prove it. But the dogfighting sequences, overall feel-good vibe, and epic flying footage secure its top spot on our list. You can be my wingman anytime. Bullshit. You can be mine. Do you agree with our list? What's your favorite airplane movie? For more high-flying top tens published daily, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Enough is enough! I have had it with these motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking plane!